Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. This series is going to be Surviving with Pneumatic Craft for Minecraft 1.15.2. So here's a list of mods you can see the trash in the pack. So it's my own pack of just basically very simple. All I really want to do is just have some stuff to help me along make uh, make some stuff, resources. I don't want to do anything resource wise. So we'll have a quick look at what we've got in here. So we've got the one probe. That basically shows you what the items can do mouse um what what they are and the state of the items like that mouse tweaks well that basically allows you to do things like scroll around with a mice and it's very handy so just enough beacons is just part of uh the one probe um it's just enough resources is the is the main one the cucumber library is required for ore excavation trash lot basically all that does it gives you a little trash lot at the bottom of your um inventory just enough items, JEI, we know all about that one. Or excavation shape selection, that allows you to select shapes from when you do ore excavation. Inventory tweaks renewed, but that also allows you to sort inventories, um, which is handy. Find me allows you to find items which are nearby, because I'm very bad at forgetting where, or very good at forgetting where things go. Patch Uri is actually required, is a, is a mod for documentation of um, pneumatic craft. Gravestone mod, but it gives you gravestones when you die. The light overlay allows you to see the light levels as a yellow or red cross. Journey map, that's always, always handy for seeing where you're going to. Controlling allows the um, the config to show you the, uh, of the keys, shows you which ones are missing or which ones you can duplicate it, use and sort, sort things out. Uh, Cloth config API is another um, API, is and basically it's another mod for um, a library mod that's required by. I can't remember which mod it's required by. Where excavation? Well, we've dealt with that one. Nature's compass that allows you to find biomes by simply selecting the biome you want to go to. Harvest. This one right clicks crops harvesting, which is very handy too. And of course, pneumatic craft repressurized. Um, and Chunk no go bye bye. <laughs> it's a funny name, isn't it? No go bye bye. It's just a chunk loader. Apple skin that shows you the level of food you've got in your stuff. Just enough resources shows you how um, where things come from, like where ores come from. And then this is a version of Forge. Mystical aggregation aggregations <laughs> are for um, as an add-on for mystical agriculture, allowing you to. Um, I've got mystical agriculture in here. Fast leaf decay. So these are really the top levels, like Insanium or uh, Essence and stuff like that from this one. Mystical Agriculture is really what I want to use to get resources, but it takes quite a lot of setting up. So let's done that. So I'm going to create a single world, and I'm going to select this one, but I'm not going to play this one, I'm going to recreate it. So it's got, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to call it World, because my, all my games start with World. We'll be saved in World 1. I think that's probably right. Um, and it's got the key here, so I'm really going to copy this key out of here if I can. Yeah, I can. So that's the seed for the world. So I'm going to allow cheats on, and I'm actually going to give a bonus just and say done. And that's it. And then we shall just create this world, create new world. And then we shall start playing this one. I'm not going to do much in this world, because I've already been playing quite a bit. What I would like to do here is to simply um, start and just show you what I've how I've started because it's actually we find diamonds in the first, mm, first 10 minutes, so we'll have a look at doing that. So it's nearly finished, it doesn't take very long. And here we are. So you'll see here I've got. A chest. There's a chest there. So if I press uh, E for the inventory, and then you see I've got this trash lot here, and you can open and close it with the T button. So this is the one pro breed me. I don't want that. Stick that in the trash. Next thing item you put in, then that gets deleted. Until that, and the rest of that just stays there. So let's go and have a look at this chest. It's normally stuff like oh sticks in this case stuff. Let's just take it all out of there. She's not a very good chest as well. If I can reach it, I'll chop it up without trying to drown it, because it'll take a while to drown this. I don't 
think I can do. Let's use this axe. You see, you get an axe and a pickup, some food, and a block of wood. How's my oxygen level doing? Just breaking time, because good. I'm just going to pick up this chest. Right, now I'm going to start mining. This actually looks like quite a good sp spot to start mining as it happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go dig a little hole in here and go down a bit. I should also chop some trees down in here. So I've got ore excavation enabled in this mod. So I'm just going to hold down the alt key and ore excavate this tree. We get a few saplings. I'm going to replant the saplings straight away. Well, needs plenty of wood, so we might as well do a bit more wood. Uh, a few more trees. I can use the axe, of course, to go faster. Now they don't always drop items, but this this kind this time it did. So I'll just harvest a bit of. I'll harvest a bit more wood, and I'll come back in a few seconds. Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. This series is going to be Surviving with Pneumatic Craft for Minecraft 1.15.2. So here's a list of mods you can see the trash in the pack. So it's my own pack of just basically very simple. All I really want to do is just have some stuff to help me along make and uh, make some stuff, resources. I don't want to do anything resource wise. So we'll have a quick look at what we've got in here. So we've got the one probe. That basically shows you what the items can do. Mouse, um, what, what they are and the state of the items like that. Mouse tweaks, well, that basically allows you to do things like scroll around with a mice and it's very handy. So just enough beacons is just part of uh, the one probe. Um, it's just enough resources is the, is the main one. The cucumber library is required for ore excavation. Trash lot, basically all that does, it gives you a little trash lot at the bottom of your um, inventory. Just enough items, JEI, we know all about that one. Ore excavation shape selection, that allows you to select shapes from when you do ore excavation. Inventory tweaks renewed, but that also allows you to sort inventories, um, which is handy. Find me allows you to find items which are nearby, because I'm very bad at forgetting where, or very good at forgetting where things go. Patch Uri is actually required, is a, is a mod for documentation of um, pneumatic craft. Gravestone mod, but it gives you gravestones when you die. The light overlay allows you to see the light levels as a yellow or red cross. Journey map, that's always, always handy for seeing where you're going to. Controlling allows the um, the config to show you the uh, of the keys, shows you which ones are missing or which ones you can duplicate it to use and sort, sort things out. Um, cloth config API is another um, API, is and basically it's another mod for um, a library mod that's required by. I can't remember which mod it's required by. Or excavation, well, we've dealt with that one. Nature's compass that allows you to find biomes by simply selecting the biome you want to go to. Harvest this one, right clicks, props harvesting, which is very handy too. And of course, pneumatic after pressurized. Um, and Chunk no go bye bye. <laughs> it's a funny name, isn't it? No go bye bye. It's just a chunk loader. Apple skin that shows you the level of food you've got in your stuff. Just enough resources shows you how um, where things come from, like where ores come from. And then this is a version of Forge. Mystical aggregation aggregations <laughs> are for um, as an add-on for mystical agriculture, allowing you to. Um, I've got mystical agriculture in here. Fast leaf decay. So these are really the top levels, like insane uh, essence and stuff like that from this one. Mystical agriculture is really what I want to use to get resources, but it takes quite a lot of setting up. So let's done that. Now I'm going to create a single world and I'm going to select this one, but I'm not going to play this one. I'm going to recreate it. So it's got, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to call it world because my, all my games start with world. We'll be saved in world one. I think that's probably right. Um, and it's got the key here, so I'm really going to copy this key out of here if I can. Yeah, I can. So that's the seed for the world. So I'm going to allow cheats on, and I'm actually going to give a bonus just and say done. And that's it. And then we shall just create this world, create new world. And then we shall start playing this one. I'm not going to do much in this world, because I've already been playing quite a bit. What I would like to do here is to simply um, 
start. Right, I've reached level 12, so I'm just going to mine across here. Now what I can do with this, we can set up your excavation. So if we, I've actually programmed it to Alt-V, and if I move the mouse wheel, I can change say, shape. So this is a good shape, so I want to do this one. And I'm going to simply down, hold down the mouse. It could be dangerous, of course. Um, we'll see. So no problems, we've just dug through to this bit here. So it'll carry on digging until it hits something that's not the same material. So let's put down some torches and I count down seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and put it on the wall here. And you'll see that the ones behind have actually lit up. So we've got two here, let's carry on. And sure enough, straight away we've hit diamonds. In fact, I knew the diamonds were there. Let's be honest, I did know that. So what I'm going to do is put a torch down here. But if you also look on the minimap here, you can see it looks like a fortress in fact it is a fortress in fact you can just come along here and it's in both directions so what i'm going to do now is a little bit more mining and i'm going to start at this end here i think we'll start here and i'm going to mine my way down through here i'm just going to or excavate my way down through this count down seven seven if I got it wrong, you'll see one block there, so that's that's good. And every time we come across iron, we'll all excavate that out. And my pickaxe... Oh, of course. Now, what I forgot to do is I forgot to change the shape. So, change the shape, you come along here and click No Shape. And then you can simply alt all this up. But you have to be careful. <laughs> the reason you have to be careful is because it's very easy to forget. So, all I'm going to do now is fill in this thing here. Press Shift to see if there's any more blocks. Like that, and then carry on. So I'll see you in a while. I've already found, let's have a look. Oh, actually on the way down, I already found the 24 more of those. Let's get carrying on. So I should see you in a short while. So I've now hit redstone and I can't mine that because I need diamond. So I need basically an iron pickaxe to mine that. So, but by this stage, we've come across some coal. Um, some, I haven't found any more iron ore, but we'll go and process this iron ore that we've got. And we'll also make some stone, and I'm going to make some stone for some steps to come up here. It's a lot quicker, especially if I'm going to be doing it a lot. And with the fortress just below, we're going to be doing it a lot, <laughs> as you can see. So that was the reason why I dug this as, as being three high. And I'm going to need 50 sets of steps, if I'm not mistaken. 12, 64 minus 12 is 52, isn't it? So we need 52 stone blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more uh, furnaces. I need to make two really. So I'll make two more furnaces. And we're going to make uh, some more pickaxes. Uh, I'll do that in a minute. So I'll get the furnaces going like this. Put these two down here. Now we should have almost, how many, 51 charcoal great so I'll split the charcoal up and put half in here and put in a stack of cobblestone into this one I'll do the same thing here we'll put the other half in here uh, put a stack of co cobblestone in here and then in here we have two more left so that's 30 what we're going to do is just go across like that and then we've got three sets so we're going to simply push these into here like that so that needs three pieces of stone and we can use some cobblestone. I'll take a cobblestone out of here, I think. Oh, sorry, a charcoal element. And let that cook up. So that way we're optimizing the, the, the fuel we've got. Oh, yes, we're optimizing the fuel we've got. What time of day is it? It's five o'clock. And what I would like to make, first of all, of course, is some shears. A shears in a bucket. So we'll make the shears, first of all, because we want to have a bed. And we can get a bed from the sheep without having to slay the sheep, which is, um, when I say sheep, sheep. I think the sheep is over here. Maybe we can find it, maybe we can't look on the map, there's one or something over here. A brown sheep. Okay, let's just colour that brown sheep, make it a red one. <laughs> And then we can shear it. 
Quite often you get, how many did I get this time? Two. Quite often I'll get three pieces of wool from one sheep. Anything between one and three. Now he'll probably got his, when he does that he's got his stuff so that you can hear him do his things. And this time we've got five, so we've got three that time. So we actually have enough for a bed now. Um, which is a good thing to have because we want to come outside and sleep sometimes. And what? I thought there was a second sheet. I'm not 100% sure if I didn't mess that up. Anyway, now let's go back to base. Which is over here. Well, I might while I'm doing that, I'm all, oops, didn't mean to use the shears on that, did I? I want to use <laughs> that's grass. I want to basically get some seeds uh, for chickens or whatever else. Let's just let's see if we can get some seeds. Actually, I've still got the light levels turned on. Let's just turn those off. Very handy when you're mining, but not so useful outside. And over here. And berries are very good as well. You can take this and take a berry. We should have got a couple of berries there. And there's another sheep. Um, I was looking for grass, wasn't I? Good source of early game food. But what there's a rose we can take this rose with us as well that's a good form of a red dye consistent there's this not dropping any grass seeds today why not there we go there's one strangely enough that's probably all you ever need that's two now it's fine and then i'll have to make a hope go back to base i'll mark the base and i'll show you what i've been doing in a few seconds Because one of my plans, of course, I always start off by doing a, a fish farm. So it gives you something to do at night. And that stuff's all cooking up nicely for us. I'll make a bucket as well. Very handy. Always need a bucket. Especially if you're doing any form of mining. Which I missed. Try again. If you're doing any form of mining whatsoever, just take a bucket of water, a bucket of milk, whatever you're doing. In this case, we'll have a bucket of uh, water. And there, everything's cooking up. So I'll wait for this to cook up, and I'll sh and then I'll put some steps down. In fact, what we can do is I'll have a look up um, my world as it is today. I'll see you in a few seconds. So my world as it stands now. I've got some chickens over here. They're there. Oops, they're giving me feathers underneath here. Actually, I've got a, a hopper. You probably can just about reach it. If I'm not mistaken, can we just reach this hopper here? <laughs> Maybe it's full of eggs already. It's full of eggs, what I do is just slaughter the chicken and <laughs> start again. Get out of the way, I want to get into the hopper. Jump up here, I suppose. So can I get into the hopper? Yeah, it's not full yet. But it's, they're laying eggs. When that's full, we can slaughter all these, get the feathers and the, the chickens. Um, here I've got some carrots, and one of them, uh, zombies dropped a carrot, or I found it in a chest, can't remember which. And here I've got some uh, seeds, some more carrots over here, and then this is just wheat seeds. Uh, I found a, mar uh, a melon seed in a, a, a in a dungeon chest. We'll have a look at that. And then I've got some inferior essence. So we just simply normally I can right click. So let's have a look. I've got the watering can here from. This is a very good thing to make. Let's have a look at the recipe for this. Very cheap. Four pieces of iron and one ball, and some bone meal. Um, bone meal you can actually get from bones from fishing. So that's good. Just grow this up like this. And when you know, hold it down. Next level, we could, don't have to hold it down. We can simply have it in our hand, and it'll display both. And then you can right-click. This one's not yet done yet. I'm 85. You see, you can just right-click it as you've got the watering can. Doesn't work for mystical agriculture. We have to break those ones. So just stand on top of them and break them like that. And then we get some seeds from them. We should get four in the same number. They only drop one essence per seed. And you have to go up a level before you get the mystical agriculture um, fertilizer or essence like this. So then I also built, I moved, I moved stuff around a bit. Here I've got a set, set of uh, chests with bits and pieces in it, as you can see. Got quite a reasonable amount of, well, actually, I haven't got that many iron, much iron yet. I've got to do a lot more. Moved a bit, put the bed down here. And, go, and then built a simple fishery over here. 
Um, and I got a good bow. Uh, so I've got this one here with lure three, look of the sea two, unbreaking three, and mending. So that never breaks unless you're unlucky and hit something you shouldn't do. I've got another look of the sea two. So if I combine these two together, I get the look of the sea three. But I need 20 something, I've forgotten here. An anvil, that's actually an expensive investment. But worthwhile, because you see, I've got a power five bow, for, all from fishing, by the way. Yeah, 19. Actually, I'm not very far away from 19. 18. Not very far at all. We should just get another something else. Have we got anything in these uh, furnaces to take out? No. <laughs> but we built, we came down here like this. Let's have a look at this. This was, I think, a mistake. I or excavated gravel <laughs> without having the path on it. And it. It got me tons of gravel, but it wasn't intended what I had intended to do. So we, as we as we did before, we mined down here, and I came across the diamonds. And you can see I've explored a little bit more now of the fortress. And I, I mined down here and here. I haven't dug up any of the diamonds yet. And here's the fortress. We can get into here. I can hear a zombie somewhere about. I'm not sure whether. So this is the um, other side of that. I've got a block here. I've got only actually. I've got dirt. Let's just put this dirt down here. Have a quick look around here. Oh yeah, there's a zombie. So this one with this bow, I should be able to kill this zombie pretty easily. And you can see there's di there's gold down here as well. Oops, <laughs> I set myself on fire. Oh, there's a creeper there. Uh, but and a bat. I don't want to meet creepers just at the moment. So, we'll just do that. And I'll just fill this in again with some blocks. And I haven't got any blocks with me. So I'll just quickly get a block. This will do. Just prevent anybody coming in here. So we can see the creepers down through that side here. And then down here, I've, you see I've been doing a little bit more mining down here. Got the iron pickaxe, of course. You need That was fairly straightforward. And here I found a big chunk of stuff. As you can see, there's quite big chunks of stuff. And here I found some more diamonds down the bottom here. And these are the ore excavation stuff that have been we're level 13 here, you see. Back to level 12, so we've got another set of diamonds. I'm not quite sure how far these diamonds, how many we've got. I know on the other ones there's six. So it's like there's a four. Let's just dig around it, see if we can, how many we've got underneath this. Yep, yeah, got some more down here. Is there any risk of lava? It doesn't look like it. That's five isn't it i only got down here for a look we go down one more here yep it looks like we've reached the end of that so i've got a reasonable amount of diamonds already as you can see i don't think there's anything underneath this no nope. so here's a five And some inferior essence. So we'll take the inferior essence while we're here, or let's go at that. As you can see, and just check the light levels, make sure we haven't exposed anything. Don't think we have. I'm not sure if it's on or off. If it's, you can, can't tell if it's on or off until you get somewhere that it's dark. So here, this one, and then the mines are over here. And what I discovered, there's a few mobs over here. I think they're stuck in. I think they're behind there. Looks like there's another one just underneath me. But here there was there's two spawners. One here, and the other one is hidden. Let's just go around. It's a nasty one. It's in here. Make sure it's lit up properly. I can hear a skeleton. And this one should be lit up properly, but 
I'm not 100% sure if, if spiders aren't coming through, spawning through here. Um, it shouldn't be. No. Nope. Those are cave spiders, by the way. So that's it. So what I'm going to do now, between now and the next time, I'm going to make up enough resources. <laughs> can hear them all grinding away. So we'll get enough resources for the, to start um, pneumatic craft repair shards. We'll need at least a stack of iron. Uh, and I haven't got that yet. And what I'm going to be doing is, let me go this way. Is start with mystical agriculture. I think that's probably the first thing to start with. So I need a lot more essence. You need 64 essence per iron seed. You need four iron and 64 essence. And we also need the mystical agriculture um, crafting. I think, I'm not sure what it's called. Let's have a quick look at it and so have a look. So we need infusion ped pedestals and infusion also. We need eight of those. So we need eight pieces of gold and 16 carpets plus stone. And we also need one of these. So we need another three uh, carpets, that's 19, plus two more gold, that's 10 gold, and then some more stone. Stone's not a big deal. Uh, gold's probably not a big deal. I think I've already got that. I've got eight. Maybe I need some more. Uh, I've got four more here, so that's fine. Uh, iron, we've got 27, not very much at the moment. Um, between, I'm also going to go and do some f more fishing. Especially with this new rod, I want to get my levels up. In fact, I got my level already, haven't I? Let's quickly turn this one into a nine. Look at the C, three. So that gives you better better rewards. What I'm looking for is a fortune um, book. What I've got at the moment are these in here. So I found a smite, a piercing and a loyalty in a smite four book. Not bad. Um, but hopefully I'm going to find a higher one than that. I've got some more bits and pieces. I found pumpkins are not very far away. And of course the fish and the boots. I'm not keeping more than these three sets of boots anymore. I get a throw away. I found two iron horse armor and gold horse armor. And in here we've basically got a load of saddles. I'm going to throw some of those away and some more bows. Look at this one here. So this is um, punch two. Um, punch two power four. This one's is it an infinity one? Yes, it's an infinity bow. Fantastic. So I'll get those all ready as well, prepared for next time. I also got some uh, iron armor. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.